Canada imposes major restrictions on admission of foreign students. Detention, Canadian student permit seekers. We've got some news for you. British Columbia has recently made a significant announcement about the admission of international students to Canadian institutions. Watch till the end to know more. Ready to start your journey to Canada? Click the link in the description to access our complimentary CRS calculator and see how you can boost your CRS score. Your future in Canada awaits. Now fasten your seatbelts. Canada's province, British Columbia, has declared a two-year suspension on the approval of the admissions of international students to new colleges until February 2026. The intent behind this significant decision is to address concerns like the quality of post-secondary education and preventing the exploitation of international students by questionable institutions. But before we get into that, British Columbia hosts a multitude of Indian students enrolled in prestigious institutions like the University of British Columbia, Simon Fraser University, and the University of Victoria. However, current initiatives by the provincial government convey stricter regulations in the education sector. But that's not all. The province aims to set a requirement for minimum language scores at private sector educational institutions and upgrade the labor market prerequisites and degree standards. These amendments highlight the government's commitment to escalating educational standards and protecting the interests of international students. But that's not all. The decision aligns with broader federal initiatives targeting the management of the stream of international students coming to Canada. The two-year ban on new international student permits aims to reduce enrollments by 35%. Moreover, it would enable the Trudeau government to address housing challenges amplified by population growth. Now here's where it gets interesting. In 2023, Canada aimed to drive economic development by admitting 500,000 permanent residents and 900,000 foreign students. However, this popped up challenges like a housing shortage of 345,000 units, prompting concerns regarding the sustainability of current immigration policies. From a different perspective, Diplomatic uncertainty between Canada and India has impacted a reduction in study permits issued to Indian students, which shows the complications of international relations and their impact on education policies. Now, let's connect the dots. While Canada navigates these challenges, policymakers confront the formidable task of balancing economic objectives with the need to sustain high educational standards and tackle housing shortfalls. The bottom line is the decisions made in British Columbia and at the federal level will outline the perspective of international education and immigration in the coming years. Before you go, make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell turned on. That way, you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for being an awesome viewer and we'll catch you in the next one.